won't feel too big, could be a small brim. Just hit that little diving wheel, yeah it's a brim. Oh no, it's actually, it's actually an EP. Which is cool, I was hoping to get a couple of them up here. Let's just see how he goes, you know, I'm really pulling drag, but I'm in the current. Yeah, little estuary perch, start the morning off. lean little specimen. He's taken that very small lure, which is one of the Jackson pygmy lures. So I'll just let's get him off the trebs first. Give it another try. So we'll keep it up. Just gonna get a quick steel picker. Oh yeah, feels like a nice, nicest fish, little guy. What have we got here? We've got a brim hanging out on the rock bar there. Yeah, and only a little size. All the same, the tide's just started to turn, so we might get a bit more action. Yeah, 24. Whew, there. Ooh, got a fish in there close, right on the bank. Haha, <laughs> coarse, a little flatty. Ooh, excitable flatty. Let's chop that down. So hopefully we can get it back. Just a head shake. Yes, he took one of my trebles. <laughs> oh, yeah. The little brimbos, similar size size. Just trying to get back home. <laughs> yeah, just hanging around these little rock bars here. Yeah, should be able to just bring you in. Maybe slight, slightly bigger again, this one. Maybe by a centimetre or so. And the tips, yeah, it'd be 27. All right, well that ends the session. About three hours of fishing. Yeah, for three brim, one flathead, and an estuary perch, a couple of other little tiddlers. 
It's always a beautiful spot to visit up here in the Upper Georges River, in the Alan Ashton Reserve, especially during the week. I'm uh, imagining on the weekends it'll be a lot busier here.